Hey guys, today I'm going to be offering you my top tips and tricks for hitting features that are very intimidating, such as this trestle drop. High exposure on one side, a steep rollout with a lot of G. It is really kind of a tricky one, so let's go ahead and just dive right into Not bad. it. Uh, I mean, have you? No. Um, the landing sits steeper than normal drops, so just, yeah, I figured. I want, I want to take a look at it. Because yeah, they rebuilt it. If you, it's pretty chill. What do you think, Evan? Should I do this? Yeah, he'll be fine. Uh, yeah, does this rock lean back? Hey, that rock right there, it drops off. It's not like a uh, drop drop, but just lean back. Yeah, no one told me that in my first run. Yeah, it, it's steeper than you would think. Just, just lean back, you'll be fine. So there you go, guys. There's your first tip, right? Follow someone else in if you can. Get input from other people that are hitting it, other people that are sending it, because uh, you may end up doing basically something like what I do here in just a moment. Came into it just a little bit, well, in between speed. I should have been going slower or faster. Oh, God. That one was bad. That was steep. Okay, I think it. <laughs> I thought I'd roll it. I was going fast enough to pop it. Probably yep. should have launched over it. But hey, you know what? We got out of it. That's what matters. But again, he was setting the pace for me, which I ended up coming out just fine. So following someone in is definitely a big plus. The next tip I can offer you, roll up to the edge and take a look at what the launch area looks like and what the landing area looks like. Make sure there's no trees, rocks, roots, another person down there that's just previously crashed. Make sure that the landing area is clear. You feel like you're more nose heavy than you should be, but the landing's so steep you're not. Okay. That's pretty big. Yeah, do you want to do that or what? Okay. Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out. So there you go, guys. There's another good tip. Make sure someone's always looking upstream so that you're not impeding traffic of any other riders that may be coming through. It's kind of fun to watch this. You know, get an idea. Watch a couple of other people hit it, how they hit it. Get a feel for their speed. Are they popping it or are they he just went really nose heavy. It? You know, that guy right there I mentioned, he went real nose heavy, right? Look at Ben. He just goes off of it like it's nothing. And really even looking at Ethan, he kind of just shrugs it off and says, boy, it doesn't really look that bad. It's more intimidating than what it is anything else. <laughs> yeah. So here's the next tip I can give you guys. Anytime you're looking at an intimidating feature, don't overthink it. I looked at it once, the guys came coming? down, no. I jumped off of it, came in here, looked at it again, said, hey, I'm gonna launch it right here. I see where I wanna land. I know about how fast yep, I need yep. to go. So I start making my way up to the launch area. It does not look bad. It doesn't look bad. I think I could do it. Yeah, you got some going, I don't know if you could hear him there, but he said, yeah, I think I've got this. Here's Ethan launching off of this thing. He knows the pace. He's done a ton of drops, a lot of big jumps. He's got it. Yeah, he hit it. He came out of it. You go, go for it, bro. I don't know if you can tell here, but I'm obviously pretty nervous. But hey, confidence is key. I know I can do it. I've done drops similar in this size, just not one with this much exposure or this deep of a landing. At the end of the day, at some point, you just got to nut up or shut up. Just make it happen. Use your skill set. Woo! So obviously going a little too slow on the G out there. End up casing the heck out of that little step up. Probably could have gone a little bit faster. But hey, you know what? Nervousness makes it happen. Honestly, on big jumps, I usually say go a little faster than you think you need to go. But on drops, I always have a tendency to go a little bit slower. That's just me, right? Whatever works best for you is going to be the key. If you think you can do it and you have the skill set, put the confidence forward and let the confidence drive yeah, you down the dude, mountain. Did you see me? Did you see what I did? <laughs> That's nothing. That's really nothing. It, it's, it's scarier than it looks. It's, or it's, yeah, less <laughs> scary. <laughs> He knew what I meant. So now we're jumping forward a little bit, actually taking one of my other buddies over here the first time he's ever done it. Here's a bit more of this process. With the wood. Because if you do, you end up on yeah. the edge of that plank. So you almost want to go off on this, this one. And See where the knot is? You can go pretty much straight. But yeah, I was I was told the knot. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, just yeah. just left of that. Right. See, so if you notice, there's chicken wire on it now. Obviously, it's a little bit different. It, they've even added some more stuff to yeah. it. 
Yeah, he's asking me if I'm gonna hit it there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing. At this point, I've already done it a number of times. I'm pretty confident in how it feels. Yeah, and really just kind of got it. And in fact, both of my friends ended up sending this jump. Out, they ended up doing it for the first time ever and, and had it with full confidence like it was on. nothing. But you know, this is an intimidating drop, guys. At the end of the day, if you think you got it, get out there and make it happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you hanging in here all the way till the end. Hey, if you like this content, throw me a sub, give me a like, give me a subscribe, something. Just